getting better stuff, buying and selling stuff, mostly, mostly spices, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna abandon this quest. So, uh, the progression is actually down here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of medals that you can get. Uh, can't actually get into those yet. Because I fucked up the stuff. You can collect stuff. Uh, you And you have your items, which are weapons and tools like holographic exploration thing and uh, colonization tools which helps with uh, spice store uh, storage uh, helps defending your colonies because there are pirates uh, you can wage war against uh, enemies here Diplo diplomatic stuff so uh, you need to defend your colonies as well uh, you have the uh, atmospheric tools which are uh, basically used to uh, get the plants to a T3 state. Uh, T states are uh, basically habitational uh, states where T1 is uh, a barely habitable planet I guess. Uh, T0 is unhabitable basically but you can put a colony there but uh, you can't build, you can't collect spice and shit like that so yeah, that's not great, but uh, you can get every planet to a T3 with time and tools, basically. So, uh, yeah, and T3 is the most habitable planet. Uh, the number be behind each one is... Uh, well, it basically says how much colonies you can put there and how uh, many species live there. Uh, basically, T3 planet has uh, three kinds of... well, uh, for every T level there's uh, three kinds of animals, uh, two herbivores and one uh, carnivore, and you have uh, three kinds of plants too. So, <coughs> and those are actually needed to stabilize the ecosystem so it won't degrade. Basically, if you go get a plant to a T3, you need to have uh, nine species of plants and uh, animals. So, um, if you don't, if you have like six and six kinds of animals and six kinds of uh, plants, that means that uh, the plant will degrade from T3 to T2. Uh, so. Yeah, you have to watch out for that. You can terraform things. I'm not really using those. Uh, I don't really use those at all. Uh, mainly just for fun. You have your batteries, which uh, increase your energy. You have your uh, health, which increase your health. Your uh, interplanetary drives, uh, which uh, increases the area that you can travel. Uh, basic, the basic one, you can leave your planet, but you can't leave your solar system. And uh, you can travel wormholes, uh, you can store more stuff with these things. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff to collect. Uh, basically, if you get a medal for something, uh, they are basically achievements of sorts. Uh, you progress with these. Uh, and if you go get to the level 10, uh, basically you get another medal and... Uh, you're done. Uh, I think if you're at level 10 you can get everything uh, in the game, you can buy everything in the game. So, and this slider here shows you <coughs> how far your ship uh, is from the, well, basically the galaxy core, which is that, and that there's a quest actually to go to the galactic core and find out what's in there. I'm not gonna spoil anything, I'm not gonna... <coughs> oh, our ascension species. Excellent. I bet one of them's gonna declare war on me. What am I doing? I know. 
Uh, the energy is needed to. Hi. Oh, fuck, that costs a lot. Well, I needed to do that, so. Buy one of those. And I got a medal. Traveler. Free. Uh, <coughs> I met with free. Uh, well, civilizations in Space Stage. So, uh, yeah, th these are basically collectibles. Uh, I'm gonna play the Space Stage until I get to level 10. I'm gonna try to get to the planetary core, but uh, you will see why I said I'm gonna try and not I'm gonna do. <laughs> so, yeah, my little uh, colonies are highlighted there. And I got another medal. Yeah, in the, uh, the start of the game you get medals pretty frequently, so... Right, hi. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Now I have stuff. Bye. So you can have highlighted uh, travel paths, where you went, highlighted uh, plans that you have been on, which is kind of needed, uh, but not that much. Uh, there are a lot of collectibles in the game, so uh, visited planets are, or visited systems are good for one thing mostly. <coughs> Sorry, uh, and that. Holy fuck! They, they really love that red spice. Anywho, so uh, you can toggle this on, so you can see where you have been uh, and where you collected the stuff. But uh, yeah, since there are so many planets, it's not really needed. I'm not. I haven't really used it yet uh, for anything. You can highlight the the quests, and uh, when I get quests, I'm gonna show you how they are highlighting it. Oh yeah, this wasn't my main uh, place, so I'm a pacifist. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna play a pacifist. Uh, but I want to establish a colony, so there. So they won't. Oh. Uh, so those are brown or yellow. I don't know what the color is. Khaki maybe. Uh, so those are different color signals. Uh, that means that there's some artifact on the planet. And yeah, I know there's something. So I know. So collecting stuff is oh come on, doesn't work now for some reason. I don't know. So I <coughs> turn on. Oh, it was already turned on. Now I can. So I turn on the scanner, it points me to where the thing is and it will bleep more when I'm closer. So, there's stuff. And I need to pick it up. So, I need... Sorry, I haven't played this game in a while. I haven't played this game in a while, so... I don't actually know where everything is. So, we can pick it up with my thing. Tractor beam. So I got Harmonies scroll thing, uh, which is good for nothing basically. Oh shit, my phone is depleting. I know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's zoom in and let's zoom out. I uh, don't like to use the. <coughs> the mouse wheel for zooming because 
You need to zoom in a lot in this game. I'm and I mean it a lot. Fucking whole bunch. So. So yeah, it's more. I, I actually killed the mouse uh, when I played this game the first time because I played played it a lot. So there are two geysers here, and you can put this everywhere basically because. Uh, well, except on water, I think. <coughs> but the Templar doesn't have that much water, so... So, uh, now I need to... Oh, yes. 